Before we take a look at the latest solar flare, here is a short clip from the Stereo A satellite, showing the quite large solar flare which occurred on July 31st. Now seen using the ink filter. With the latest flare, seen on the LASCOC2 filter, the solar flare is hard to see, yet on the CME model it shows more energy than the last flare that Earth encountered. Now see with the ink filter. With this CME model, the flare is mapped, as the Earth, and Stereo, A, satellite receives a dose of radiation. The same flare observed with the difference filter. With this CME model, by Cactus, the exact location of the CME is shown. On this HMI intensity gram map, showing the Earth-facing side of the Sun, sunspot region, 2850 is seen with a cluster of five sunspots. Within the last 24 hours, there has been two, B, class flares. B, 5.9 and AB, 1.1 on the energy scale. We do, have an Earth-facing coronal hole today. Coronal holes appear as dark areas in the solar corona in extreme ultraviolet and soft X-ray solar images. They appear dark because they are cooler, less dense regions than the surrounding plasma and are regions of open, unipolar magnetic fields. This open, magnetic field line structure allows the solar wind to escape more readily into space, resulting in streams of relatively fast solar wind. Because of their potential for escalated geomagnetic activity and possible storming, G1 or higher, forecasters analyze coronal holes closely and also note them on the daily synoptic drawing. Geomagnetic storms, have the potential to disable spacecraft orbiting the Earth, as well as overwhelm basic infrastructures of our daily life, such as electrical grids and communication systems. Here are the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.